was mentioning, right? Yes. Thank mm -hmm. God I'm so blurry. This is really nice. And <laughs> what did the tanky melee hero? Oh, bottom lane. Go for a kill here. Oh, yeah. Hit the arrow and that's it. So clean one up right. for Flea. Off to the start that he needs is that roaming Marana. Find a lot earlier. Yeah, it's, I mean, you pick TA with the assumption that you're going to be farming those ancients. Yeah, the zip right in. So this is what Storm's going to do. Lane's not going well. Make the rotation. Golden Brace will delay it for a bit. I don't think it's going to grant King RD any kills before he dies. In fact, it won't. S jumps forward again. Just going to go for the TP, but the damage. Oh, it's just enough. And that remnant is. Storm TP to bottom. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's why keep things going in your favor. <laughs> Let it roll. Get another kill here. And there is an urn as well on Flea. So some more value. Oh, he's going to throw the charge. All right, that was just unnecessary. You could have three charges now, Flea. Come on. We see. We, we pop Chrono, and they have a Dragonite and a, a Beastmaster. So they want this Beastmaster. Tower again. Oh, yeah. Nice Chrono in there. They're going to go for the secondary target onto the Wyvern. Ensure the save's not there. Great play from Esk. They have the damage thanks to Aid. Ensure that... Uh, these pets are still dead. Esk in a little bit deep, but they don't have the control to keep him locked down. And this assassin going to sneak in, covered under the center he knows about. Is he going for the damage or just the stun? Oh, he wanted the damage. And he'll back away. Moonlight Shadow in. They have a sentry and obs down here, so they'll see anyone coming through. Arrow's going to miss, hit some creeps. They get the curse on the S. They have the follow-up stun. They got the damage. He's gone. No storm, but saying thing, King RD does get the roll before he falls. Now the Chronosphere is in the back. Hits the target down, Moo. He has that cold embrace, and he's going to cold embrace himself, of course. There's no curse to really worry about, but still taking a lot of the focus on this Wyvern. So I'm sure he's very happy about that, because now he's still alive. He also has to commit another jump just to get the kill. Puts him on a spree, but now that's just a bounty for the rest of the, the beast to perhaps claim he will jump out. They can't find him in the dark. Oh, a trap does... Uh, Notify them of his location, but uh, the chase will be a bit too far. So we have a double core takedown for a one. Need to force him back here. <laughs> he tried to cue the wave while also getting heroes. He just missed everyone. It was pretty good. Uh, but they have the chrono in the front while they take down the Aegis at the same time. Defensive roar at this point as it's mid chrono trying to save move, get him out of there. He gets the curse, but has a cold embrace directly next to the Yamsun. The long range stun doesn't connect quite in time on the Yamsun, but he jumps right back into trouble. The breed fire. Actually takes it away on that second life, so be on the way out. Gets stunned by the Dragon Tail. They want follow-up kills here. Now King RD, he's next on the list. Uh oh, Bumblebees, have you gone a bit too far? Moonlight Shadow, they're trying to surround the rest of them. Get, they actually let the Beastmaster escape for a moment. Oh, they see the priority, uh, the higher priority. They got the gem. Now oh, they can that's... instantly deward. That's. I think they're fully aware of the smoke at this point. Oh, smoke pops now. It's on the Wyvern, too. They've been a great hero to start targeting. It throws up the curse. Reactionary, it's only Jubei. Not a great curse right now. Let's see if they can get Jubei. Actually, hit the two hero Ice Blast. But one of those heroes is unfortunately a Nyx Assassin in the ground. Z Freak. Oh. He doesn't go for anything. The Storm actually gets out, and they're going to jump in and jump out with the kill. Now, Wyvern and AA down. And be chasing through the big BB. He goes to the refresher, but instantly gets chronoed. Z Freak with the coverage. Stuns right through again. The Amps are finding it hard to get the damage in the middle of these Chrono Spheres. Now he's roared up. He's gone. Big last through from Envy. Has the BKB going for the second one, thanks to the refresher esque force the TP home. And Flea, well, he, oh, and look how Yamsun's playing this instantly just as time walking in. Just wants to put a body up there. They're going to find Envy. They don't want to let him get anything off here. He's gone, and he does not have buyback. And he's Feet. very far away from the burrow. So, something that's very good at delaying the game. Oh, this arcane rune, Uriah, he jumps for it. Maybe not the best time to, to hop on in like that. Pops the BKB. Yamsun forced back, but it's a faceless void. Jubei almost got one shot by a side blade there. Really good decision making. I think a lot of pubs would have committed Chronosphere on TA there, but it would be the wrong choice. You're fighting into the BKB. They reset like library. this. You have a fight with no BKB at all. Exactly. It is really good decision making from the black and yellow side. Unfortunately, though, they know they're not rushing because of the Hawks. And they know they're being chased right now. That means they should have a defensive coverage, but there's no BKB. Oh, the Chrono! He can't get the cold embrace. Oh, he actually does get the cold embrace in time, but there isn't a curse at the very least. So move, beat Tire down, get stunned, does fall. Gonna drop that gem now onto Z Freak to breathe fire. They finish him off. Four heroes dead. Now, at the same time as Envy, he's still not back. This is happening so fast. Both just like trying to force Moo to reveal they? himself. Yeah, uses the fireball, trying to push that out. They're going to go for the roar. Again, no save. That Well, the only save they have is a four staff. Jubei just kind of suicides in there. Uh, was trying to feign some, some confidence. You see Aura, depending on the game, right? Yeah, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, Moo goes for the curse. So there's our setup play. 
into the link. Envy getting the big damage. Just DKB. Where's the chrono? Oh god, they're so pumped up here. All right, Yamsa's yeah, sitting here. He's saying, I got it. I'm ready. I'll let it rip. Don't think I won't. Now he jumps back away and back in. Three heroes inside the chrono. Yamsa's getting low. Force the Papa Cheese, I believe. There's the damage. Just flying through Royal. He almost gets Jubei. He gets to the tree line in time, so he'll survive. King already in the middle of things. Dropping pretty low. Another jump up. Jump back from Yamsa. Doesn't know where he wants to go. He knows that Esk wants out of here, though. He's trying to burn the Aegis so he can get back into the fight with the extra mana, but he's just getting stunned up and chain controlled by Z Freak. They won't even kill him. Have some mercy on this storm. Meanwhile, Roya also held in place the big stun from Zero. It's a triple kill now for Esk. You know what? He says, fine, don't take my Aegis. I guess we're just going to win the fight anyway. Yeah, to their face. Uh, <laughs> like, like, I don't have the same read on comms. Oh, so I'm jumping. Oh, well, the comms right now are jump this Wyvern. Take it down, make a fight easily. And this is pop, but then comes the Ice Blast. So Moo, cold embracing, surviving at the moment here. Didn't get the debuff, so all good by the looks of it. Now Yamsun, though, went through trouble, has to jump back. It's the time dilation, holding the back. Envy coming through. They've lost the storm. They don't want to engage here. So now it's time to escape. They have one more force set from Flea. Arrow as well. I'm not going to hit it. Saving Arrow a bit hard to execute. Envy, you got the speed, but I don't think you're fast enough. Passive can't get you there. And you're smoking in. Now they're going to follow their wave. Radiant, of course. Oh, oh, he got baited by the illusion. The BKB, Lincoln's jump in stun, and now the chase down. It's going to begin. The roar, it is Lotus once again. Ice Blast coming out on Rue and Envy. There's a Chrono onto three, but Moo, he's still outside. He's holding the curse in case they even think about still fighting this. Where's the big curse for Moo? He's got to find the angle. He can't get into silence. Esk is jumping on top of him, and a pause. I found one green diamond still up and available. That's about it. All right, they're just ready to go here, so... Uh, we'll just try and figure out exactly where everyone stands. Void dead. All right, that, that's a good starting point. They're going to have a TP out from the storm. It looks like the call is just bail. Uh, Jubei is no cares. He just dies in the tree line knowing that his life was forfeit. And in the end, they only lose two. So, uh, not the best chart in here. Radiant Vision, the Hawks coming through. They see everyone. The curse, it's on the Lincoln Sphere. Does not get the target he wants there from Moo. It's a jump back into the pit from the Faceless Void. Now they get a roar onto Flea. Again, not the hero. Zip in from S. Gets the pull, but Z Freak, he's still underground. He wants the chainsaw. The BKB's popped from the end, so he's still dropping really low. Ice Blast comes through. He's going to hit on the three. Can they get the damage in time? Yes, they actually take down the Nyx Assassin, a tough target. He's going to jump back out as Yamsun. They're going in a little bit more. S just playing so well this game. He grabs another one as the Wyvern falls. Meanwhile, in the back, it's Envy tangling with Yamsun and Jubei, trying to find the damage to bring him down, but it's Envy who gets stunned by the cold feet. He's going to fall with a jump back in and black and yellow. Spiking the ones in the pit, despite having the vision from the hawk guiding the bumblebees through that. Any hero, he'll find a way. And Roya, though, whoa, he jumps to the trap. They were looking for the sun, but they've actually found him. Oh, your tricky traps won't save you now. Roya will fall for a hundred seconds. <laughs> Buyback, ninety gold. Okay, he actually is gonna take into the bee. So uh, a lot. They do mediocre supplemental damage to the two horse. <laughs> Oh, the Winner's Curse might have gone for it. There's the Roar. That Lincoln's had just run out. Now it's popped back on top. Esk in the middle of it. Gets a pull-off. It's only the Wyvern, but that's the target that he wants. BKB's thrown down on Envy and Royas. Envy tries to keep the front line going. Driving back. Oh, he's out. He's in. Yes, it still connects on to two. Despite just really going for Envy by the looks of it. Now Esk, he's going to jump over into Roya. Dragonite's coming through as well. Wants to follow up Sun outside of this Chrono. But the arrow, the curse as well. Everything flying through this Chronosphere. And it's enough to save Royoya. Gets him the TP back to his trap in the base. But Yamsa, oh no, he died. He had the Ice Blast on top. He died. Oh, yeah, true, true. They're going heavy he here. Yep, BKB. And there's the Link though, but it was Lotus. So it's not doing anything. Another Chrono on top. Aeon Disc is popped. Nullifier's there as well. Arrow comes through, but the BKB pops first. So Envy still living, trying to walk away from this Winter's Curse. There's the heal. Then Brace is there to try and keep him going in this fight. The damage on the Z Freak, he's going to fall. They're looking at the damage on the Envy. He's gone. That's two. Full minutes and a tip as well, just to help them out, because they're saying this game is done. King RD, seeing if he has different ideas. Tries to find the kill on the G, baby. He's going to get four staffed out. They turn, they burn, and he's going to go down. They're just marching towards the throne. They want to end it. Choo choo, says S. They're trying to put themselves in the next game. Uh, there's a curse in 50 seconds. There's some blink daggers, and there's a very annoying faceless void just slowing them all down by their throne. Ice Blast in. Oh, yep, yeah, just. Tap, set it up. Andrea, not gonna find a tricky TP this time. GG is called as the throne explodes in black and yellow. What a masterfully crafted team fight they had both at the end and, and frankly throughout the second half of this game. It, it almost.
perhaps set to occur. Four Dio Heroes, four Radiant. Ooh, look at the details. Walking oh, the water. They're going to find Esk. Yeah, he actually gets stunned too. I wasn't sure if they get the reach. Tries to run in uh, towards his team before the Split Earth could connect. It's tanky, but not tanky enough. Down he'll go, so first blood. Yeah, for the mid. <laughs> too, right? And uh, you should have pretty good control on that because of all the shenanigans you can do with Slate. Ball ring, though. They're still fighting. Yeah, and they want a little bit more action here. Pretty good link for uh, an early one. And they actually get the early rune onto Yamsun. And Z Freak's in trouble here. Goes for the stun. The body blocks from zero. Uh, unable to use the Yuma block since the patch. But uh, we'll get the kill nonetheless. Yeah. But, like, let's go. Give me, give me that high value emote. Our lobbies yesterday were just spammed with it. Well, there's the question. Yeah, son. Uh, he didn't spam it out in time. It might have saved his life, but uh, he's going to go down. This is Flea now. Yeah, that is very depressing. And, of course, Flea has just been hitting neutrals the whole said. game. So, uh, yeah, okay. And he might lose his support here. There's a Mango on Z Freak. He can't quite get in front, though. Uh, I think it's, like, it's only 60 heal per usage. Oh, King RD is going crazy up top here. Gets cold feet, does, does not care at all. Just keeps charging forward. He actually gets the final bit of damage there, but it's only under the support. Yamsun survives. Z Freak coming through. And if they chase too deep looking for King RD. Oh, nice stun. Into the fall up from Z Freak out of the trees. He's going to salve up his offlaner and I'd probably throw a little tip his way too. In there. Yep, zero with the ulti. This will save it. Thank you, team. We are all good. Make sure that Flea's efforts didn't go to waste. And now Esco, he's in trouble again. He just died and came back. Now he's gone again. And they grabbed the Marana as well. They're chasing deeper. You sure you got the stack? But at what cost? It's breaking the same. And they're going to push them right out of their Ancients and say, oh my, well, sure they got the Herc. Ah, Jubis, he's, he's not having a good game, but he's definitely back in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can just go sit on one tower now and get six, and well, we don't, we don't talk about uh, PL dying because it's just not very interesting. Uh, from their PL, and there they go again. Esk jumps and sets up for the arrow. It was even a little bit late, but still finds the connection. Nice angle from Flea. Vendetta Z3 comes through, but it's a bit too late. Regretting his decision, perhaps. He does get off the carapace to stun up zero. Gets the Mandarin on there as well, but the stun through again from Esk. They're going to catch Z3. They're on the chase now. Envy's a bit too fast, but maybe another kill here. Arrow is up. He might have to freehand it though, because it's a long time before the stun. And hey, it won't hit, but it's fine. And they got the timber slows either way. And now they're into this tower. And all that without an Elder Dragon form. Oak, they looked kind of close, but I'm not entirely sure. Shadows take us. Oh, Moonlight Shadow, they're going to jump. Yeah, and man, that is just easy fake oven pickoff. And they want to try and get some sort of a counter play, but he jumps into some infamous heroes. The dust pops out. They're moving on to S. Z Freak with a stun. They've got zero rooted. They find the damage. There goes the Dragonite. Can they get a few more is the question. Yamsum's now in there, dropping low to the AoE damage, but they finish off that Leshrax. Now, Leshen Rays are gone. The big damage is out of the picture. Yamsum barely gets out. His Royo's also stuck with the cold feet. Might get locked down here. Oh, they got the kill zero. The double. Z Freak wants to finish, though. Gets it with the Vendetta. Nicely played there, but flee. With the mop and bucket comes up with the cleanup. <laughs> and that is going to be a killing spree for the Marana. I feel like fundamentally, like, I don't know if it's like a conscious decision, but it just looks weird. Next. Well, yeah, they want to punish them being up in their territory here. And he's going to walk up, try and play the Vanguard here. And get up in the way and protect his Nyx Assassin. That ends with double stun as we come in here with zero. Esk still up. Oh, he might live. He's getting back to slight. It doesn't reach now. He wants to jump forward with the remnant. He wants to come with a blink out from Esk. Now Roya perhaps going in a little bit too deep here. As a couple more spirits to make his way through this team fight, though, as the rest of his team is engaging, trying to catch the Yamsa. It's Esk again. He says, remember me. You wanted the kill. I got away, and I came back with a stun and revenge. But a two-hero stun. Seafreak's out of his mind this game. It's a triple kill for King RD. Oh, they needed that so bad. The punishment on the re-goose play from black and yellow turns this. I, oh, they actually see z right now. Obviously, he's taking the outpost, but they know what the backup is. Oh, he actually just goes to the straight-up stun. S knows he's getting carried for that, but he doesn't care. Because the follow-up arrow is there. And they're going to grab that kill. Now, BKB out from Envy. He's backing away with the squad. They're all clumped up here. Uh, early pullback from Zero. Doesn't get the full distance of the shock from there. Can't catch them all, but there's the follow-up. Stun's on the Zero. He's going down here in just a moment. There he goes. Ice Blast does connect on the Envy. He's dropping low, but he's going to be out of this fight. Aeondis pops on the King RD as well. He gets out. And Roya has a backup remnant here, too. So this will be a... For a move still. 
Yes, the Mysterious Heroes return yeah, once again. Uh, that courier tells you where they are, and indeed, there's the Lesh. Follow up arrow. He goes for the leap away, trying to get the distance. It delays the arrow, but he still lands in time. Ice Blast comes through as well. So the heroes are damaged up. Will they find the finishing blows? Indeed, they will. King RD down. She may somehow survive for a very long time, but he gets found out there by Roya, as well as Moo. Now, Zero looking for the big damage, trying to save Ask, but it's Zebreak again, having a fantastic game on this Nyx Assassin. Has it Yules available? Oh my god, that was the last possible second. Doesn't have a stick available, though, so we'll still fall. And that's a double kill for Zero, who's sick to be able to farm along the map and put pressure. Uh, old Susie, back up to his old habits, you know? Oh, move. And dodge it on the arrow, but there's still a Timber Saw chasing him. It's a lore battle, and oh, he should not be forced so harshly. The clear cutting. Oh, the operation, he's still alive. Uh, and he managed to cut down that tree, at least before falling himself. And no, he won't even fall. He gets out. So he's surviving. They've got both supports now culled here from the Bumblebees. And charging forward, it's zero. He wants some more. Roya, oh, you cursed him, Owie. It's too powerful as a caster. You can't do something like that. The sun is there. And that will save anyone else from falling. But, uh, oh, I say that. And uh, looks like Flea actually falls to the tower. Classic support play. All right. Team up a hill. It's when you're down 11k. That, that's the envy timing. And up the hill they go. A bold charge. And it costs a couple spirits. Roya's just jumping forward. I think he's like losing. He's got one left. Better make it good. This, oh, that's a beautiful ice blast. It's on to quite a few of them there. At least three. They're just running through the fury and the blades of zero. Cutting down the Lesh Rack. Roy is just trying to escape in the river. He's being tipped on the escape. There's another tipper chain. A Lotus as well. They're sending him on the hunt. Ooh, oh, there's a lot of trees there for the bonus. Game. They got the stun. Pop the Lincoln. It's got the kill. And the timing, well, time might be up here. He's just doing all the little things too. Like, even with this push down bottom, he's clearing all the trees, making sure there's no shenanigans happening. A little bit of flamethrower action while his whole team is mid. Maybe this is the fight they need, though, because the Timber Saw is not there. Stun there from King RD. Now falling up on the Anson, dropping a little bit lower. Remember, he has that Aegis, though, so not a huge panic. Now it's zero, though. Daddy's home. Oh, he goes for the Timber Chain. He's trying to find Moo. Has he used the ulti? Moo getting a little bit of some baits here, perhaps, but it is just both supports being run down and not a lot of punish here from the rest of the heroes on the Radiant. Trying to get the Aegis, they've got him up on the high ground side. Oh, the stun comes out though. Envy, once he loses the BKB and the Refresher, he is a little bit uh, paper thin at this point. Roya has jumped right back out to a defensive remnant that he had. Another leap back, has the Vessel on top. Will he escape this time? There's an arrow, a leap. It's gonna be short on the stun, but the damage coming through. Now dropping low, has a wand up there. Uh, trying to catch Roya. Has a Lincoln Spear too, maybe that'll be enough to save him. Jubei's got 15 seconds. I'm ready for the long box type. He's TPing to the mid tower. Wants to catch him. Use the vision of the ice vortex. Arrow covering the reach end room. No, they got him again. Now he's zipping back. Oh, but he's waiting. Esk is there, but there was the Lincoln still. He didn't go for the halberd before the stun, and that's going to save Roya. He lives because of that. And, and meanwhile, you know, the, your base or something. But uh, and that was Zero's a lot of space, in there. So, oh, Zero yeah, always going for the kill. the found with the ice blast. He's trying to get the finishing blows. King Ernie's dropping so low. Zero, you're insane. They actually got the last wreck. He killed him in the well. Oh, please. Let them live. Zero, the no mercy. The team is finally here. It took him a long time. Has he so damn deep in the base? They can't actually get the finish on the sea freak. What is he doing? Under attack. Is there all more? Right. Surely so you've got to escape after you this. Literally dove the fountain. <laughs> you went all the way in, Jubei, trying to be the sacrifice here. Oh, zero. <laughs> what a game you've had so far. A sun and an arrow. Yeah, sun's here. Now it is you who has chased too far, my friends. And the Bumblebee is a slight out. Roy is actually out of jumps right now. So he's going to be a little bit cautious. Moo trying to hold them back. Another slight, but it's just too much damage. Moose falling. The Lincolns, again, proving a bit too strong here. Another slight. Roya's looking for his great escape here, but he's stunned up. He's gone. Tip deserved. And Zero set the wheels in motion. <laughs> Perhaps the game ended. This is when they chase you too far, so then you can end the game. You know? Just a, a classic Dota 2 win condition. It's, it's a well-known uh, strategy. They drew it up on the board earlier as uh, the island is. Well, that's the attempted strategy by everyone to survive in Dota these days. And it might be the correct answer for King RD. Ugh, he can't get back to the ball in time, though. Uh, Zebrick, again, another great stun as he's done this whole game. But he can't find the final blow on a Yamsa. Ice Blast, whoa, from downtown near the Roche Pit. Jubei fires that one here. 
as they might get the damage to get the finish. I'm saying all that. Niemsa actually just died to Envy, by the way. So Envy gets the big cleanup kill outside the base. Now he wants to finish those who are still intruding. Flee! Oh, not enough damage. Okay. You can then use your 5k gold item. I mean, oh, I think... unless you break them first. Oh, true. I think there is yeah. some idea with this where... Oh, shit. He got him this time. Oh, the Ice Hammer? Blast on the camp. What a prediction. Oh, that was beautiful. Really good pickup. No buyback on Ember. I think the idea is in here. Yeah, and maybe like baiting King RD a little bit here. Although they're going to know. They're going to jump in. Get the sun on the amp. So the secondary sun's going to come through as well. He's being a bit cautious here. He's stunned up. He's dropping low. They got the Phantom Lancer. Has a buyback. Does not want to use that right now, though. Even with a massive lead, everyone just wants to try and escape. See if they can get out of this one. Zero. Bloodstone now pop. Another Leshrac stun. It's coming through. It's going to chain onto them once again. No, he never chains out. They will get the secondary fall though onto S. He's chained from the Nyx Assassin. Few more controlling elements here. S should fall as well. So two big picks and no deaths. That, that's step one. Yeah, I think that's a big part of the now. Oh, smoke. They, they see a part of them. Yeah, it is uh, just the Marana, though, as Flea wants to escape. First jump. Gets the grab. Oh, now they're going to get the Yules as well. So that it forced to commit. S hops in. Looking for a stun. Gets it on a Z for to stop the follow up stun onto Flea. He throws an arrow back in. Now the Ice Blast. Not getting the big damage. Oh, there it is. It's zero. Hello. You guys want a team fight? Well, that's team fight. Zephyrk wants to buy back. Trying to get back in this engagement. Zero gets a massive timber chain out of there. See you later. But an arrow at the same time. It's Yamsum joins the fight. They're trying to get the damage onto the last track. They can't quite get it, though. DKB running away. Uh, Spirit Vessel is available at the end of this if they want to help the chase down. But no, there's also a flicker. So <laughs> who cares about Spirit Vessel? And uh, Esk is on the way. He can rage for any sort of a stun, though. And Envy will just clear up <laughs> these awards. And so, of course, if Esk is getting aggressive. He is an arcane rune, so he's hungry, you know? They, they always want to go with the sun. There's Envy. He gets it. But he's back. Ice Blast. That was a little premature. Oh, arrow does connect after the arrow throw. Oh, Envy. He has that cheese, but it's not going to help me. The Ice Blast. He's got to buy back. Instantly, he goes for it. Four heroes just high ground, lurking there for black and yellow. It, trying to get them to engage. And it's Roya. He's going to jump. He gets the initial route onto zero. He's got a lot of defensive options here, though. Still has the Bloodstone. Not too concerned. KB's burning low now for the Bumblebees. Zephyr tossing the air. There's the big damage from Zero. King already dropping low on the high ground. He flickers to the low. He actually gets the flicker. He can't be stopped now. Zero perhaps in a little bit too deep. Can he get off anything in time? No, he's gone. Zephyr able to get back to the high ground. Nick Assassin survives. There's another Ice Blast up and ready here, but are we shooting at the base? Is it Juve? No, he doesn't like it. Not sure. 10 minutes now at 30k gold lead. And he remnants away, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, another flicker here from King RD. Another item that uh, hopefully we won't see for much longer. Oh, great force staff. Gonna stop the combo there, but is it enough for the save? No. Maybe force for the instant buyback. Perhaps not. They don't want to commit for anything bad. All right, he has to go for it. They're going in pretty deep now. From side, like I was stunned in the middle of the chain, but I, it's zero. And he has an Aegis, but man, look at that damage. Okay, they can't shoot through when he's stuck in place like that. Envy driving back the rest of the team. Roya chasing through. They've got Yamsun. He's getting low. The Octane Core can it save him. No. He might have to buy back on the Phantom Lancer at this rate as they catch the AA2. Hero's alive. Zero. Dropping low has overwhelming blink out. Do they have the chase down? They've got the Agnes on the Ember Spirit. He's got another jump. He's going to find him. He's got a root. He's looking for him to Timber Chain. There it is. Oh, he doesn't go for it. What? 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 Roya? He, he was Hello? Murata Invis, so he, uh, he didn't he quite. Dust? Yeah, it happens. Maybe he was waiting for the Lotus or something. I mean, he had, you know, he has this spell, so. I think he just There's messed plays. up, to be honest. It happens. Oh, no, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Pro players don't make mistakes, Aoi. You should know that. I was a pro player, and I never made mistakes, so that is exactly. true. Yeah, you're right. That, that, that is just straight up. Oh, Envy got arrowed again. Oh. All right, they have a living armor and a force staff, though. I think he's okay. He's waiting for the combos before he force staffs. That was sick from Moo. He knew the plays were coming. He's read the game. He's there. Very well done. And yeah, I mean, you pointed out it's like a Mjolnir. He's got the Mjolnir and the Shard. So the AoE damage is there to help first the PL. But there's also AoE damage from the Leshrac. Trying to protect Roya. But he's dropping low. That is a dieback. Roya's out of this game. And now the Radiant Hero is still pumped up here. Zero comes through. Looking for the damage. But the DKBs are out. Envy in there with the damage link. But they've now got the tree as well. Zero. Burning through. Still has the Aegis, mind you, for three more seconds. Oh, they couldn't hold it long enough. Oh, that was so close. So Zero will get the second life, and that might be the last life now in the upper bracket for the Bumblebees Flea. as the triple kill comes out. Flea, Flea does just it. hit two five-second arrows on core heroes. That's how he does it. That's how he ends games. Two games in a row on the Marana. 
amazing performance in terms of the early roams and uh, map pressure between him and Zero. I think that off lane did so much for this game to ensure that the PL even got to play Dota. Yeah, and 